Richard Southern is here to chat about the day's most interesting stories. And Richard, anyone who watches our chats regularly knows that we have to talk about this, a mysterious light that shot across the sky over the weekend. You know what I thought it was, right, Erica? A UFO. Oh, well, of course. Obviously. <laughs> I should jump to conclusions. Uh, did you see this? This is 3.27 a.m. Saturday morning. Look at this. is downtown wow. Toronto. Ira Paul, Eric. Incredible. Uh, it was a meteor, of course, and it entered the atmosphere over Brantford before streaking across downtown Toronto, right by the CN Tower, right by everyone's doorbell camera. They caught it all. <laughs> the one meter wide object created a sonic boom that many heard overnight. Uh, it was apparently uh, the first of two meteors to uh, uh, hit uh, the skies over Toronto. People heard another one uh, later on Saturday night. It was actually tracked, Erica, before it entered the atmosphere. Only the sixth object to ever to see to have that happen. So not aliens in the end. <laughs> not Superman? Uh, yeah, maybe <laughs> And who knows? I don't know. <laughs> okay, speaking of secrets of the skies, we're getting a new look at the moon tonight, courtesy of NASA. Yeah, this is the uh, the Orion spacecraft uh, that blasted off last week, which we were talking about. It's sending back these pictures. Look at this. This is the far side of the moon, which we never see. We only see one side of the moon, right, Eric? It's dark. And uh, these are pretty cool images. They're on the solar array. It's, they call it the selfie uh, camera. So you see the, uh, the spacecraft on the left. And, of course, the far side of the moon on the right. At its closest, the Orion spacecraft was 81 miles above the lunar surface. The last time a human-rated spacecraft was that close was Apollo 17 in 1972. There's no humans aboard this, just test dummies. Meantime, the head of the Orion program at NASA said today, Erica, that the plan is to have humans living on the moon within the decade. Now, within Erica, a is decade. There, in the next 10 years. Wow. Isn't that a step? Yep. Do you think there's any truth to the what they say, though, that the moon is made of cheese? <laughs> we'll have to see, I guess. That'll be what the moon people are going to be eating. The Orion spacecraft, you know? <laughs> Okay, finally, the Scrabble Dictionary is growing and avid players aren't exactly saying yeehaw, Richard. The Scrabble nerds are angry tonight, Erica. They're not happy with the new words. I'm going to show you what the new words are, okay? <laughs> yeehaw. That's valid. Yeah. Yeehaw. Why not? Scra the Scrabble aficionados, they say that's, oh, that's a word that's spoken and not written, yeehaw. So they don't like that. <laughs> Bay is another one. How about vibed or vibing? That's valid. Uh, uh, yeah, whelp. A uh, thingy. Thingy's not a word. I gotta agree with the travel nerds. It's a thingy. Yeah, it's a thingy. Right. A uh, skeezy. Like Erica thinks Richard is a little skeezy. <laughs> and slushy. But slushy's kind of a brand name, not a word. It Maybe is a little bit of a brand name. Shorthand for the actual product itself, I guess. These, uh, these Scrabble guys better not play with me because I play pretty loose. Like, they're, they're barely words at all. That That'll I... be all your words. Bay, vibing. It's all Richard playing Simple Scrabble. Stuff. UFO. Simple stuff. <laughs> Okay, thanks, Richard. We'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.